So the today's agenda will introductions for the project team, project overview, um, show the project area, and go over some frequently asked questions uh, for the project. So again, my name is Leon Wilson. My phone number is 817-392-2387. Uh, my email address is leon.wilson at fortworthtexas.gov. And our engineering design consultant is uh, Kimley Horn and Associates. And our project managers are John Atkins and Josh Kircher. So as Sally stated, this is the community design meeting for the Clear Fork lift station in Force Main. And so I have a map showing the lift station, um, which is at the lower left-hand side of the map, and the Force Main, which extends to the north. So the force main extends east from the lift station, which is north on Rogers. It goes north on Rogers Road across Interstate Highway 30 and Chisholm Trail Parkway, then easterly in Trinity Park across Clear Fork Trinity River, northeastly along Forest Park Boulevard, and ending at West Fifth Street. Um, this project is in City Council District 9 and it impacts the Fort Worth Downtown Neighborhood Alliance and the West Seven Hood Neighborhood Alliance. So why are we doing this project? The city of Fort Worth has committed to eliminating a long-term sanitary sewer overflow, commonly uh, referred to as SSO in this presentation, on 48-inch sanitary sewer main M-439 at 1500 South University Drive in front of Macaroni Grill. It's uh, approximately at the intersection of Rosedale and University. In order to eliminate overflow, the city plans to construct a peak flow lift station upstream of this area to pump the peak sewer flows downstream past the overflow area. The intent is to provide additional capacity in the sanitary sewer system through a congested area of the city and discharge the peak flows where the gravity system, the gravity sewer system has sufficient capacity. So this is the location at 1500 University Drive at near Rosedale and University Drive near the Macaroni Grill. And this is an actual sanitary sewer overflow event, an SSO event on March 25th, 2019. Um, this shows why we're doing this project. This location has had 11 SSO incidents in the past three years and approximately 3.8 million gallons of sewer has overflowed out of the system onto the roadway. What does a lift station in Force Main do? The lift station pumps wastewater from a lower elevation or a lower level to a higher level. The lift station site is located between an existing gas well pad located at 1630 Rogers Road and the Union Pacific Davidson Yard. The force main moves wastewater using pressure generated by pumps in the lift station. Um, so the site, as mentioned, is between the gas well and U, uh, Union Pacific Railroad. Um, the access is from Mopac Road, so there's no public access uh, to the uh, lift station site. Uh, the sanitary sewer collection system, there are currently two collector mains one 48 inches and one 54 inches in diameter that parallel the Clear Fork of the Trinity River from University Drive downstream through Trinity Park, then connects to a deep tunnel sewer in downtown Fort Worth. This force main would be 36 inches in diameter and approximately 14,400 linear feet long. The force main lift station would work together to handle both the normal and the peak flow conditions uh, for the wastewater. So for the presentation, we have it broken up in segments. It would be, the force main would be one project, but uh, for the sake of the presentation, um, I'm gonna discuss it in three different segments. So the proposed lift station would be located between the Union Pacific Railroad Davidson Yard um, slash Mopac Road and an existing gas well pass site um, along Trinity River, west of the Trinity residences on Rogers Road. This segment east along the river then, sorry, it's a typo, the segment um, 
then turns east along the river and then north on Rogers Road between Trinity Residencies Apartments and continues across I-30, Chisholm Trail Parkway and the Union Pacific Railroad toward Trinity Park. Uh, the middle segment um, on this slide is showing that it crosses Trinity Park and then crosses the east side of the Clear Fork Trinity River before heading northeast along Forest Park Boulevard. And the north segment is along Forest Park Boulevard and ends at uh, West 5th Street where it connects with an existing gravity system. So will we need to access your property? If any easements um, needed, you should have been or will be notified if your property requires access, contact uh, me, the project manager, if you have any questions. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor would take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction starts. The original the contractor will restore the property to its original condition. Most of the construction will occur in the right of way, um, city right of way. City Park and across Trinity River, um, there's minimal impact to um, private owned properties, and we've already had contact uh, with those property owners. So, just a basic timeline um, as mentioned at the beginning, this is the design meeting. So, once we go through our design process, the next steps uh, would be advertised for construction. We take bids, we open the bids. Um, we would go to city council to approve contract um, to the low bid contractor. And at that point, we would have a second meeting, which would be a pre-construction meeting with the contractor and the inspector present to answer any questions specific to construction um, at that time. It would be a WebEx meeting once again to bring everybody uh, up to date. And then construction would begin. And right now, um, we are estimating construction sometime in spring of 22. We're still finishing the design, but that's the estimated construction start period. So where can you get more information? Uh, the pro progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website, located at the link below at the city's website, fortworthtexas.gov, and then go to the projects page. And then look for the Clear Fork Lift Station and Force Main Link. Uh, once again, that project number is 10996. Uh, the link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary and frequently asked questions will also be linked to the project page at that uh, website. So, once again, um, I'm Project Manager of the Water Department, my name's Leon Wilson. Phone number 817-392-2387. Um, email address leon.wilson at fortworthtexas.gov. And just a little some information about water main breaks and sewer backups. Um, just for general information, you can call 817-392-4477. Select option one, and that number is available 24 hours a day. And also for non-emergency calls, you can call between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. At the same number, Monday through Friday, 817-392-4477. Um, the non-emergency is closed during city holidays for those for 7 to 7, Monday through Friday. You can download the My Fourth app from the App Store or Google Play. There you can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service. Uh, water pressure issues or any other um, sewer concerns, um, anything else that the water department um, can help you take care of. And with that, that's the um, conclusion of my presentation. I think we'll go through the chat questions first, Sally will read those off, and then we'll take any call-in questions. So Sally, do we have any chat questions? We do not have any questions in chat. Does anyone want to ask a question? Does anyone want to see a slide again? Certain slides? Hmm. 
Okay. Well, if if anyone thinks of any questions or has any concerns after the meeting, just once again, just send an email to or call me or whichever works best for you. Again, my email number, I'm uh, sorry, my uh, phone number is 817-392-2387. Email uh, leon.wilson at forfortexas.gov. And once again, thank everyone for coming out um, tonight, um, attending the WebEx meeting. And I think, Sally, if we don't have any questions, I think we can close the meeting. I think we can. Thank you, everybody, for coming. All right, thank you.